Hey everyone, Coach John here, head pro at the Racquet Club of Cocoa Beach. Hope everyone's staying safe out there. We've got another wonderful video for you today uh, talking about one of the biggest weapons that you can have with your service game, and that's the slicer. So here we go, hang in. I got some great information for you with technique. Okay, so we're talking today about slice. So first off, we have to understand what is a slice serve? So with a slice serve, what's happening with that tennis ball is when you have it, instead of hitting the ball like this, with that flat serve, you're gonna hit more on this side of the ball. As I'm showing you an example for a lefty, you're gonna cut with the racket here, creating that, that ball to spin. Okay, for us righties, you're gonna hit over here, creating the ball to spin towards this way. And then all of a sudden, you're now creating a different dynamic and making that ball move instead of it just driving through the court. Traditionally, the slice serve is a little bit slower than your, than your uh, flat serve, but it really can be used effectively to open up the court, not only as in singles, but in doubles. And especially for my lefties out there, this is the one that really causes some problems for those returners, especially all those right-handed players. So some of the big uh, advantages when you're, when you're hitting this slice serve for our righties is you can really pull that player off the court on that due side if you really work on getting that slice to that corner or even inside and really kind of pulling your opponent off the court. If you talk about it in doubles, if you're moving correctly, as your uh, partner gets pulled off with this serve, you're gonna have to shift over a little bit, which is gonna create some new openings offensively on the other side of the court. So you don't wanna forget those advantages there and why it can be a really big uh, advantage to your own game and, a, and definitely a, bit, a good tool. So hang in there, we're about to show you how it's done. Okay, so now we're talking about how to actually do it. Uh, first things first is we wanna have that continental grip. If not the continental grip, you want to maybe just be a hair over just a little bit, uh, creating that racket face to be more uh, vertical in this sense. Uh, if you have that pancake grip, uh, that old style here, it's going to be almost impossible to hit that slice effectively. So you want to make sure you're starting off with the correct grip. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, being a lefty, I'm going to show you how that flight path and what you're going to want to do with that racket so that then when you swing, you know what you're looking for. So as I turn sideways for the serve, the ball goes up. I want to come around and curl. As you can see, now a flat serve would be watch as I straighten out. Now you can look at that slice serve again. And the, the main topic here is you want to think about carving. You want to carve that ball or curl that ball. And so what we're going to do now is I'm going to give you a couple examples that you can use uh, without your racket. So that, that way you can uh, perfect this technique. Okay, so a quick example for my righties. Please don't judge me, it's not gonna be as pretty as my lefty serve. But again, turning sideways, using that continental grip, and I'm back, making sure that I roll around the contact. So I'm gonna try to cut around the right-hand side of the ball. And... All right. Okay, so for this example, I like using one of these uh, low compression balls. Uh, I like using the red one just because it's so colorful. You're gonna be able to really see the ball rotating if you're able to achieve it. So that's really the main goal here is so that you're again, carving that slice and really working on getting that rotation because the rotation is what's gonna uh, make that ball move when it hits that ground and take off. So. What I like to do here is I like to take my hand, put it in just like this, okay? All right, and what I'm gonna focus on is the wrist rotation here of rolling that hand and driving forward. So remember our throwing motion is very, very similar to our service motion. So we're, we're kind of gonna throw a curve ball here if we were playing baseball, but you're really, again, looking to curl that wrist so that then that way you get that rotation on the ball. So I'm 
here on my driveway. I've got my garage and again with my pressureless ball so I don't cause any dents. All right. So here we're going to go and I'm going to throw one or two so that, that way you kind of see that uh, rotation happen. I'm going to throw it kind of slower on this first one so you see what I'm talking about. So here we go. I'm going to start with that ball back just like I would normally. Okay. I'm going to come around and release. So here we go. As you can see, that, that ball is rolling out of my hand and that wrist is pushing it out. You can see this, the ball spinning like this since I'm left-handed. And so that's what you're really going for. So as I progress and I want to get a little bit more, I'm going to start incorporating more of my body when I do this to kind of mimic, mimic that service motion. So now I'm going to add just a little bit more uh, to add some realism to it. So I'm in my service stance now and I'm gonna bring it back, okay? And I've got my hand back. I'm gonna bend my knees here and top. Okay, and as you can see, the, the more I start incorporating the rest of the body, the more spin I'm gonna get on that ball. And I can really start developing my delivery without even hitting that racket. So um, another great situation here is now again, working on the technique. So I hope that helped. We're gonna move on to our next technique. So the, the next most important thing that you're doing once you've mastered that, that swing path is starting to, to throw that toss in the correct location. So what I like to do is if we imagine this is my baseline here, I'm gonna use the, the corner pillar of my house as I turn sideways as my reference point. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna to toss out wide here because again, I wanna have my body come around to hit that serve, to get that slice. So as I'm practicing, I'm just gonna hit that toss right out in here with that arm, keeping that tossing arm nice and straight and really controlling that ball. And as you can see, it's out in front of me. And if this toss gets behind you, you're not gonna be able to do this serve. So you wanna make sure that you're practicing getting that toss a little bit more out in front of you so that your arm can come around. So keep that in mind. The last little piece of advice that I'm gonna give you is when you're picking your target in the court, I like to say you wanna aim about a foot to the side of where you're aiming because of the curve in the serve or in that slice. So for me being a lefty, if I'm gonna aim right down the tee, okay? So we're gonna say that this right here is gonna be the tee and I'm serving, okay? I'm gonna aim somewhere over here to get that ball to bounce right there. So, and as you get better, that, that uh, space gets smaller and you get and you understand how to control it just that much better. So I hope you have some time out there to go practice your serve and hope to see you out on those courts utilizing this slice as soon as possible.